Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So recently I've posted a couple of videos that Microsoft will be integrating OpenAI's artificial intelligence chatbot ChatGPT, or better known recently as GPT-4, into their Bing search engine, which basically in a nutshell, as posted, will enable you to have conversations with a chatbot. Now I'll leave one or two videos in the description down below if that would be of interest. But just to let you know, and I didn't think it would take long, that now Google has officially announced their competitor, and um, their direct competitor to Microsoft's chatbot, and they are now um, testing an experimental chatbot for Google called BARD, or B-A-R-D, and I think that's how you pronounce it, BARD. Now, um, this was according to a recent announcement by the CEO of Google, uh, posted on the 6th of Feb, and Google say they are introducing BARD, and they actually started working um, um, on this um, approximately um, two years ago where they unveiled their next generation language and conversation capabilities powered by their language model for dialogue applications or Lambda, L-A-M-D-A for short. And once again, I don't know if I've got the pronunciation of that right, but I'm just going to call it Lambda, L-A-M-D-A for the purpose of today's video. Now, um, Google say they have been working on an experimental conversational AI service, very similar to Microsoft. And uh, um, at this stage, um, are rolling it out to a trusted set of testers ahead of making it more widely available to the public in the coming weeks. And that's exactly what Microsoft is currently doing with their chatbot. So obviously, uh, the two um, um, the two companies in direct opposition to one another and are both doing exactly the same thing, rolling it out to a limited subset of users, and hopefully over the next coming weeks and um, will be made available to the general public. Now, um, if we head over to one or two screenshots taken from that announcement, just to give us a better idea, um, yeah, we can see Google Search, very similar to how the Microsoft version of Bing Search is going to be using a chatbot, but something just to draw your attention to here um, at the bottom in the small print, BARD may give inaccurate or inappropriate information, and that's exactly the same as the ChatGPT over uh, in the Microsoft camp. Uh, these chatbots at this stage, it's still early days, so they can give inaccurate or inappropriate information. So obviously still a little bit of work to do uh, in the development of the chatbots in both camps. Now, um, if we head to the next screenshot, uh, Google says that, as an example, BARD can be an outlet for creativity and a launchpad for curiosity helping you to explain new discoveries from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to a nine-year-old. So that's just a brief example taken from the announcement using uh, the uh, BARD chatbot over on Google Search. Now, in regards to this, um, Google say they are releasing it initially with their lightweight model version of Lambda. And the reason for this is that um, uh, it's a much smaller model that requires significantly less computing power. So basically, it's going to be a lightweight version rolling out at first, which I think might be a good thing, not taking up too much resources and power using a chatbot. Now, basically, to sum this all up uh, in that announcement and just to get to the end of this video, Google says this, and I'm quoting, soon you'll see AI-powered features in search, that's Google search, that distill complex information and multiple perspectives into easy to digest formats so you can quickly understand the big picture and learn more from the web, whether that's seeking out additional perspectives like blogs from people who play both piano and guitar or going deeper on a related topic like steps to get started as a beginner. These new AR artificial intelligence features will begin rolling out on Google search soon. So it's inevitable. Over the next coming weeks, that's going to be rolling out. And to be exact, Google says more to come in all of these areas in the weeks and months ahead. So that's more or less uh, the information at hand regarding um, Lambda introducing BARD when it comes to Google's direct opposition now to Microsoft's chat GPT. And obviously, as more information becomes available, I will let you know and post accordingly. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.